got water coming in. This is my 1999 Lexus LX470, or basically a luxury badge Land Cruiser. And I think Jeremy Clarkson will forgive me for saying this, but it is the best SUV in the world. It is. And I'm going to explain to you why this is the best SUV in the world and also show you. So, an SUV, three categories, sport, utility, vehicle. We're starting with sport. A lot of SUVs do one thing really well, either the sport part, the utility part, or, you know, just being a good all-around vehicle. But so few do all three this well. And that's why this Lexus is the best SUV in the world. Nowadays, SUVs, sport could mean how well they do on a track, doubling as a track car, but really, the original SUVs, the sport, meant their off-roadness, how good they were off-road. So, the plan for the sport is to take it rock crawling, take it off-roading, see how much it can climb, and also, I think I'm going to have to put this snorkel to the test. Oh, you know, just a little hill. I mean, nothing really more than a steep driveway. Not really. Good little rock wall right here. Climb. Uh-oh. Let's try this again. Ooh, gotta go backwards down. Hey yo, hey yo. Up she goes, upsy daisy. Really, nothing to it. This thing could even climb steeper stuff if I didn't install that stupid bumper. It sticks out so far that my approach angle's not very good. Now, one thing that you all say is really stupid for me to put on was the snorkel. It just makes this thing look ridiculous and I'll never ever use it. Or will I? I'm gonna climb a waterfall right now in this old Lexus. Water is definitely going to get inside of this thing because it's got door seals from 1999. I don't know what's dumber. Is putting one on and not using it or putting one on and actually using it. So we are gonna find out. So, I thought this was a lot deeper. Clearly, a Land Cruiser could have made it without the snorkel. Still pretty cool. This water is murky to where I can't really tell how deep it is. All right, well, the problem with this is once I go, there's no turning back. Basically, the only way out is to go through that deep water, because I don't think when I go off this shelf that I can make it. You can stop right now and not ruin your car. You can. All right, phone's going up.
water is coming in the cabin. Jack, I'll never let go. That's a good start. Holy moly. Come on, climb, climb. Whoa. We're very tippy right now. I've got to get out and scout. Oh my God. All right, it does get more shallow as we go up. That's good news. Couldn't close my door because there's so much water in here. Holy Moses. What did you just do? First, I gotta get this thing off this cliff so I don't roll it. my map pocket. All right, I scraped a rock. Did my rock slider do its job or did I get some body damage? Well, there's, there's the impact point right there. Yes. Okay. Oh, I definitely got the wheel too when I hit that boulder out in the water. Took off my Lexus crest. Holy moly. Please tell me this camera was rolling. Looks like that popped my radio. Might have something to do with the speakers being filled with water. I'll check the fuse. Now how in the hell am I gonna get out of here? I do not wanna go back from the way I came. Oh, I'm gonna have to go back from the way I came. Shot, how deep is this? Oh, I don't wanna see any water for the rest of my life. Well, I found my way out of that, mercifully, and I'm back on dry land, as you can see. Still got a little swamp butt, and uh, butt still clenched from that ordeal, but we survived. Now, back on subject, this thing's starting to smell a little bit. Anyway, back on subject, this Lexus, this Land Cruiser, is the best SUV in the world. There's not many SUVs in mostly stock form that could have done what this thing just did. A Jeep, yes. Land Rover Defender, maybe, Range Rover, yeah, Humvee, sure. But none of them do all three tasks that an SUV needs to do as good as this Lexus, as this Land Cruiser. We've got the cargo space of a Navigator or a Tahoe, you know, pretty close to it, but a Navigator in Tahoe could never, ever do what this thing did. And like an Escalator or a Navigator, this thing has all the nice luxury features you'd expect, leather, memory seats that are heated, a nice premium Nakamichi stereo, which is broken. I did change the fuse and the radio turns on, but something clicks underneath the seat. I bet it's the Nakamichi radio amplifier. But anyway, this thing survived. A Tahoe, an Escalade, a Navigator, 
couldn't even have begun to do what this just did. You could say the same thing about a Range Rover and a lot of other European SUVs, but they're not as good as being a vehicle. Sport, utility, and vehicle. This Land Cruiser has 351,000 miles on it, and I don't think any Range Rover has come even close to that. <laughs> It's just no way. Too much maintenance, too many headaches. Same goes for about any German SUV. This is just a tank. It's invincible, it's comfortable. I was able to drive it three hours down and three hours back after thrashing it in the water with no problems. And there's just not a lot of vehicles you can say that you can go off road and have something capable, but also something that's really comfortable and a nice cruiser on the pavement and the highway. And that's why the Land Cruiser is the best SUV in the world. If you click the link below, it goes to my article on autotrader.com slash oversteer, where I talk a lot more about this SUV and how great it is, as well as this horrible experience that I put it through. So sorry. It smells really bad in here.